I'm getting that B-roll footage. Yeah. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the CSC Garage. Today we're going to be looking at the Halon, how to adjust the chain and maintain it properly. The only tools you'll need today are the 18 millimeter wrench, six millimeter Allen, and a 21 millimeter socket. This will help us make the chain adjustment. Then we'll show some products on how to maintain the cleanliness and lubrication of the chain. Let's get started. The first step to the chain adjustment is to loosen the axle nut. We do this by placing a 21 millimeter socket on the axle nut, and then we're gonna hold the axle with the 18 millimeter wrench. We're gonna break the nut free, and then continue taking some of the pressure off of the swing arm. This frees the wheel, rear wheel for the adjustment, which will be done with the six millimeter Allens. There's an adjuster on the right side of the swing arm, and there's an adjuster on the left side of the swing arm. There are also some markings at the adjusting plate. Keeping the rear wheel square within the swing arm can be done by making sure the plates are at the same marking or by taking a measurement from the center of the axle to the center of the pivot on the swing arm. You can do this on both sides of a motorcycle to provide the squareness of the rear wheel or take your measurement by using the markings on each side. The next step is to make the adjustment using the adjusters. We'll start on the chain side. There's lots of free play, so we're gonna wanna tighten the adjuster, turning it clockwise. As we do this, it tightens the chain. But we wanna make sure we keep things even so we'll move over to the right side and make the same adjustments. You can work yourself back and forth until the appropriate level of tension is achieved. The markings here show that there's 25 millimeters of acceptable play you don't want the chain to be too tight or too loose. Now that I have the tension where I think I want it, I'll then look at my markings and make sure they're lined up. The adjusting plates are lined up within the marks on this side and see that we have the equivalent on the right side as well. We do at this point, so now we can tighten the axle nut. And I'm gonna use a torque wrench at this point. It's not necessary once you get the feel of things, but I want this to be somewhere between 45 and 50 pounds of torque. Okay, we've got a good 50 pounds of torque on the axle. I'm going to double check my chain tension. I'm within spec of 25 millimeters of play. Now we're ready to put a little maintenance and love onto this chain. And today in the shop with our maintenance on the chain we were fortunate to have a jack that frees up the rear wheel. So with the bike in neutral we can spin the wheel freely and quickly. If you're at home it's okay to take the time, it's a little more painstaking, but put the bike in neutral and roll the bike forward or backward as needed to expose the different parts of the chain so that it gets clean and lubricated thoroughly. 
Now that we've gotten the chain adjusted properly, it's time to perform some maintenance on it. First, we'll start by cleaning the chain. I found this to be one of the best chain cleaners there is for doing this. And what you want to do is spray it on the chain liberally. And then you can use your chain brush to get off all the rough, loose debris. And then you could go back with a rag and really clean it up nicely until all the dirt and road grime have been removed. Now you'd be ready for lubricating the chain. Okay, to lubricate the chain, we've got some great products that we could share with you. These are two types of chain wax. One is more of a clear lube, and the other is a chain lube with paraffin-based wax in it. So it tends to stick to the chain a little more. This one has a clearer appearance if you're looking for that. Or if you want less fling off of the chain, you can use this one with the paraffin-based wax. Once the chain's been thoroughly cleaned, you can then begin to lubricate the chain. You want to get in each link and just rotate the wheel, rotate the chain as you're doing this. Get all sides of the chain, both sides of the links, and you're good. You're ready for many more miles. Thanks for joining us again here at the CSC Garage. For all your parts and accessories for the RZ3, your Halon, be sure to check out CSCMotorcycles.com. And as always, enjoy the ride.